My name is Sarah Adami and I'm a credentialed diabetes educator and dietitian here at MediClinic City Hospital. Today I want to talk about type 1 diabetes and sick day management during this extraordinary time of the COVID-19 pandemic. So how does COVID-19 affect children with type 1 diabetes? Well, the International Society of Pediatrics and Diabetes released a statement last week based on evidence that they've been collecting from around the world during this time. And the good news is that children with type 1 diabetes are no more likely to contract COVID-19 than any other child. Having said that, any illness can make managing diabetes more difficult. So conditions such as fever, infection, the common cold and influenza can all increase blood glucose levels. This is due to the increase in counter-regulatory hormones. For this reason, young people living with type 1 diabetes and carers should be familiar with good sick day management guidelines. What are the essentials for sick day management in type 1 diabetes? Firstly, make sure that you are treating the underlying condition that caused the illness in the first place. Never stop taking insulin as per your endocrinologist's prescription, particularly long-acting insulin. Increase monitoring of blood glucose levels. So we advise checking one to two hours overnight and two to four hours during the day. If you are using a continuous glucose monitor, then please remember to cross-check some of those readings with a finger prick as well. Based on the glucose levels, expect an increase in insulin doses. This will be in addition to the usual insulin doses that you, are that you normally take, and this might be in the form of correction doses with meals or in between meals. Besides glucose monitoring, also increase the monitoring of ketones. Ketones are a byproduct of the breakdown of muscle and fat, and this occurs when blood glucose levels are elevated and there is not enough insulin in the body. There are two ways to monitor ketones. One is through urine dipstick, but the other way, which is the more preferable way, is through blood ketone monitoring. So there are some glucose monitors that also accept blood ketone strips, and it's handy to have one of those glucose monitors and those ketone strips at hand for these sick days. Normal ketone levels are under 0.6 millimol. Once they reach above 0.6 millimol, then this is considered mildly elevated. 1.5 millimol and above is moderately elevated. And as the levels increase, the severity of the situation increases. Hydration is important and sipping on fluids throughout the day besides just water. So things like soups and broths and also carbohydrate containing fluids like juices and sports drinks to help get carbohydrates in and continue to take insulin doses. Trying to have easy to consume foods like bread and toast and crackers, plain rice, custards and yogurts are also advised that you can continue to take carbohydrates and take your insulin doses with that. We advise you to seek urgent medical attention if any of the listed conditions are present. Increase uh, glucose levels and unable to bring them down despite your best efforts. Ketone levels that remain elevated beyond 1.5 millimole.